Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you're doing good inshallah. How's everyone? What a beautiful day today in Sweden inshallah. It's a little bit chilly, that's why I have my jacket, but it's a beautiful day. I just came out here today to, uh, I had an interview and uh, decided to have a beautiful setup as well. <laughs> and I had uh, an interview with uh, Muslim Mamas in the UK and uh, mashallah it was a great interview. Thank you so much to Muslim Mamas and uh, Salam Charity for this interview. So I decided also to make a live video for you guys as well so we can have some time together. <sighs> Enjoy this background. And subhanAllah. I'm looking at the screen and I'm seeing like if you take me out, you can see the the lake and the trees and the sky, the beautiful blue sky and the clouds. It just you cannot you know you cannot uh say anything else than Subhanallah, the Creator. It's like, it's, it's amazing, Subhanallah. So beautiful. And it's Ramadan 2019, best month of the year. So, this is the lake I come here sometimes and uh, where I come and uh, do some fishing and I do some uh, swimming also so there's like uh, what we do we swim all the way from that side to that side so inshallah we will start after Ramadan as well I see someone here oh someone got a fish a big salmon nice I have to come down and fish one of these days inshallah do some fishing how's everyone doing how is everyone doing mashallah mashallah i want to know how i want to know something about your ramadan this year i can tell you something about my ramadan this ramadan honestly has been the best ramadan in my life and one of the reasons actually is because i haven't traveled so much so i could just like focus and take it easy and uh just you know enjoy my time here and make the ma max out of it in Sweden it's been really nice alhamdulillah so I want to know about your Ramadan as well and as you know today marks the first day of the 10 nights the last 10 nights of Ramadan and you know how valuable they are so one, I wanted to, I wanted to uh, remind you guys to make the most out of them, you know. Uh, and you know, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, Laylatul Qadr is one of these in in one of these ten nights, and He didn't tell us which night, but He told, he told us it's an odd nights. Well, that's what we actually uh, have heard. Uh, so, but he did it. Uh, we don't. We don't know like which night exactly, which makes it even more interesting. So you have to work every day now, and inshallah, try to, you know, try to um, hit that night basically. And as you know, as we know, Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. It's more value. It's more of a value than thousand months of worship. Mashallah and equals I think 83 years so imagine what you can do if you hit that you know so try to do the most out of these 10 days inshallah and it's just crazy that 20 days has already passed from Ramadan I swear it feels like yesterday it feels like yesterday that Monday it feels like yesterday when it started inshallah it went so fast too fast too fast this time Yeah. 
Now I'm reading your comments. I want to hear what's up. What's up? What's up? Can you talk Arabic? Yes, I can talk Arabic. And Bahki uh, Arabi? Yes. But again, normally I speak English because Arabic speaking and non Arabic speaking would understand. Generally speaking, you guys understand the English, and that's why I keep it to English. You see, always when I ask you to, can you write like, how you feeling? Can you write that? This all the 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 it's just like I'm from the salam from my Panama. Assalamu alaikum, and you give some smiles with the hearts and the eyes, and then assalamu alaikum from Indonesia. Hi, and again that uh, smiley with hearts. I, I mean hearts. I whatever we call it. Where are you? I'm in Sweden, in in the beautiful lake. You see again, I give some hearts. I get some flags. I get some whatever they call again with the hearts. I'm from Malaysia. Listen, guys, listen. I'm asking a question. I want answers. <laughs> what a great weather there. Yes, alhamdulillah. It's great weather. A little bit chilly. It's a little, little bit cold, but it's very refreshing. <laughs> the past couple of years, you know, obviously Ramadan has been in the summer, so it's been very hard. Uh, I mean, hot. Because the days are really long here. We fast like as at the most I think 20 hours so so you can imagine the heat you see you continue doing the same thing so I'm from Tajikistan you say Morocco and then you write I'm a huge fan and uh, you write Salam and then you write in I don't know if you hear me can you hear me can you hear me can you say can you hear what I'm saying metal if tarf is sweet and if tarf is sweet a Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, good, good. So now I ask you again, how has your Ramadan been? Answer me. My teacher. My teacher is non-Muslim, but she tried to fat with, fast with Muslims for one week. I would love to know how that worked for her. MashaAllah. I also know people who've done that, you know. And they really love it. You know Ramadan, honestly, Ramadan is... is I've learned it's all about, like, you know, the mental preparations. The, the mental and uh, psychological preparation before Ramadan comes. And and that's why, you know, Rasul when he used to prepare for Ramadan, he used to he used to fast and he used to, uh, you know, prepare his, himself and his family, you know, uh, both mentally and psychologically that Ramadan is coming. Because, and it's not, it's not just because it's hard to fast, it's, it's also because you want to feel or you want to get the most out of Ramadan. That's why you have to prepare for Ramadan. So you don't end up coming there and uh, and uh, you just feel like it's so tiring, you know, you're so hungry, you're so thirsty, you this and that. If you haven't prepared for Ramadan, you won't taste the sweetness of Ramadan. So I would say remember that to the next year, inshallah. Prepare mentally and, psych and psychologically. And try to fast a couple of days before. If you can fast Monday and Thursdays, you know, as uh, the Sunnah Prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's great also because when you do that you get into Ramadan it's just another you know another day for you sorry I missed a lot of comments now oh nice now I took out I took out one of my earpieces so now I can hear the sound of wind sound of water sound of the birds 20 days passed to fast, yes, it's crazy. I just got a comment that 20 days just passed in Ramadan and it's crazy how fast they went, wallahi. I really feel that. We were just talking about that yesterday, or today in the morning actually. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, mashallah. Someone's written, someone, someone written, good thing happened to me 
good thing that happened to me this Ramadan was my migraine, migraine has almost gone with fasting, mashallah. Good night from Indonesia. Yes, that's true actually, it's six, seven hours difference. Good night, Indonesia. You're enjoying Ramadan, but I really miss having a thought of the in New York, I'm enjoying my Ramadan, but I really miss having my, I miss having, what do you say? Having iftar and praying tarawih with my parents. Inshallah, inshallah, may Allah, you know, make it easy for you to get together with them, inshallah, and do that. Bad thing has happened to me, I fast with three exams. Why bad thing? <laughs> it's a good thing. You know when you're fasting, you're more focused. You don't think about food. Actually, you do think about food. Sorry. But you don't have to go and get food. That's the good thing. So you don't waste time on that. When you come to Pakistan, there are lots of fans waiting. I'm waiting as well. I'm just waiting for the right time. I'm ready. Inshallah. Salam from Cambodia. Love your song, Maher from Kosovo. Thank you. Wa alaikum salam. Cambodia. Cambodia. Come in Turkey. This is one thing that I am really a little bit sad about. I haven't been to Turkey this, this year. It's, it's a tradition. I go every year to, to Turkey in Ramadan. But this year, I was supposed to have a show there. But it was cancelled. I was actually, honestly, I'm sorry to say this, but I was happy it was cancelled. Because again, I love to stay home in Ramadan. Hello from Tunisia, love you so much. I shot my uh, latest video on Tunis, Tunisia, which is called Laulaka. MashaAllah, with your help, you know, and you're sharing, it's reached more than three point something, two or three million, 3.2, 3 million uh, uh, views, MashaAllah. So that's great. Jazakumullah khair. Mm -hmm. Where are you now? I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, and this is the lake that uh, I go to sometimes to get a peace of mind, do some fishing, swimming, some exercise and stuff, yeah. This year, actually, I've signed up to, uh, I've signed up to a uh, swimming challenge. I don't know if I told you this before, yeah, but I have a swimming challenge. So hopefully, inshallah, I will do it, and it will be end of June, end of June, inshallah. So after Ramadan, I will get into this lake, inshallah, and start swimming and exercising, and getting ready for it, inshallah. Mauritania. I actually need to go very soon home, and I still haven't got any response to my question. Khalas, we take it some other day, inshallah. What do you feel from this Ramadan? I get a question now. I feel great in this Ramadan, alhamdulillah. Uh, one thing that I really love about Ramadan is the tarawih. It's, it's like the, the best thing about Ramadan is the tarawih. People might say it's the food <laughs> because you get so hungry and then you get to eat also a lot of food. But, you know, not everywhere in the world they have that uh, same... Uh, you know, they're not the same uh, uh, opportunity to just like wait for that delicious food that we do. So, yeah, but Tarawih, Tarawih is a beautiful thing, especially here in Sweden. If you don't go to Tarawih in Sweden, and I'm sure there's a lot of countries like in Europe and maybe UK, America, like in the West basically, if you don't go to Tarawih, you, you will never taste the real sweetness of uh, Ramadan. This is my opinion, personal opinion. But I really believe that. Because, because there's not many things around you that reminds you that this is Ramadan now. Yeah. Salam, subhanAllah, what an amazing view. Where are you, bro? I'm here in Stockholm, in this beautiful lake. There's a lot of beautiful lakes here in Sweden, a lot. 
Beautiful, beautiful lakes. So I just need to get a boat, inshallah. In the future, I will get a boat. And then I can be out on the lakes and just... <coughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Sorry. Yeah. All right, guys. I think I have to go now because I need to get ready. Uh, because, inshallah, I need to go to the gym. As you know, I go to the gym now. One hour before, one and a half hours before iftar. And this is a good advice to you guys who, who, who usually train and in Ramadan you feel like you cannot do that because you get thirsty, etc. Do it right before iftar. That makes it easy for you because when, once you finish, you can just break your iftar with a lot of water. And this is one of, my, one of the other things that's really good about working out before iftar is that you get the chance to drink a lot of water instead of getting a lot of food into your stomach. And that's more healthy. I've actually lost weight this Ramadan. Most of the time I gain weight, but this Ramadan I've lost weight. Yes. Will you be coming to Canada, Toronto for Halal Festival? Is it called Halal Festival this year? Yes, I have been listening to Yunashi since I was 11. That's from Zakaria K. Inshallah, I hope, I hope, I would love to come back to Canada. It's one of the countries I really love to come to as well. Okay, yalla guys, I really have to go. I get some messages now from home. I need to go, I need to go get ready for, uh, for my gym, inshallah. Do some work first and then. All right, thank you for watching. And uh, remember, it's the last days of 10 days of Ramadan. This is the last 10 days of Ramadan. Make the most out of them, you know. And you know, one thing I would say, Let's compare it to something else. Like, let's say your empl employee, he will tell you, in this, in this month, for example, in this month, you will have, there's one day in this month that is very special. And if you work on that day, if you work on that day, I will give you a thousand percent higher salary. But I won't tell you what day that is. What would you have done? I think you would have run, you haven't, you wouldn't sleep, you wouldn't eat, <laughs> you would work like crazy to hit that. So let's do the same thing inshallah with the, the last 10 days of Ramadan and, uh, and please remember me and my family in your dua inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.